fragile. Hey guys, this is Eric from Seven Circle Hobbies. Today I'm going to try something a little different. Today I'm going to review five pros and cons of 3D printed terrain. None of these are sponsored. It's just my honest opinion on things that I found interesting. If you're new to the channel, I do painting tutorials, uh, terrain tutorials, all things hobby related. The printed terrain I picked up off of Etsy and I wanted to see, is it all worth the hype? Uh, was it worth the price? Let's get started. First thing I have here, once we paint that sucker up, we'll take a look at it. There's a skeletons in here. Initial impression looks pretty good. Statues, they just looked cool to me. I figured they might be a cool for a diorama sometime later. I think this piece was called the Dragon's Arch. Pretty cool. Level details pretty interesting. You got a Serpent up here, it's all busted up. Yeah, I think this will look really good once we get it primed and painted. And I'll be doing uh, later on some stuff for a campaign of the Lich Lord. And I saw this, it's a, it's like a little prison chamber, but it's a, like a little prison chamber but made out of bone but that might be a cool role-playing thing it's got a little top here and the other door ah I see Venus wants to come and be a star demonic altar The Lich Throne and came in 15, 28, and some other size, 70 millimeter, I think. And this one looks like the 15, maybe, but it's pretty small. That might be 28, but looks a lot smaller than the picture, so maybe not. Anyway, it'll probably be pretty cool painted up either way to get some capsized boats. That would be a little bit of decoration. This terrain's easy to use. Uh, where many other companies, you got to snip it out of a mold and clean up the mold lines and fill in gaps and uh, all the usual hobby stuff. Uh, Took them out of the box, dunked them in some water to clean off any release agents, although they're 3D printed, so there really shouldn't be anything on them. Uh, better safe than sorry. Uh, I primed them up and painted them, and they were just fine. Uh, took paint really well. Uh, turned out pretty nice, all things considered. Um, and I was pretty, I was pretty pleased uh, with that aspect of it. I didn't have to spend an entire night just cleaning these things up before I, I even got the prime. Um, the second pro is that uh, I pick and chose the things that looked really cool and that I could use for a variety of different adventures. I'll primarily be using these for um, some upcoming scenarios in Frostgrave. Um, you obviously uh, can use these for different modules or adventures uh, depending on what system you play. 
Um, I really like that I got a bunch of different things that could be used for different uh, scenarios. I wasn't stuck with one theme. Um, and that leads to the third pro, cost. Uh, I think I spent a little over $50 on, uh, on this order and added some pretty interesting table dressing that will go uh, a long way. Um, other sets of pre-made terrain, say like uh, Azerite Ruins or um, the Mausoleum of Sigmar, uh, while they look very nice and they cost a lot more, um, are very static. You know, once you paint up an entire box of uh, a graveyard, what are you gonna do once that one shot scenario is over? Uh, you know, so you wanna keep that in mind. Here are a few cons. Uh, con number one, quality. Uh, this is not as nice as the top shelf companies. It just doesn't compare in terms of sculpt or in quality. And that goes with con number two, print lines print lines. I thought they'd be a lot worse when I first opened those packages. I got a little bummed out um, because I could just see the lines and I just thought that it paint up terribly. And I was surprised um, it didn't. Um, but if you look close enough, you can definitely still see them. And that might not bother most players or even might not bother you. And if that's the case, awesome. Uh, go for it. Um, but for me, it did detract a little bit from uh, the overall presentation of the figures to kind of see those, those stacking print layers. I know there are some really cool resin models coming out that are supposed to eliminate that. And uh, I'm excited to see what the future holds. But for right now, uh, that, was a, that was kind of a, a detracting point for me. And then the third con is also one of the pros of this material, uh, is cost. Uh, I'm not sure that I would pay 50 bucks uh, for more terrain of this quality, um, but granted, they've been sitting in my drawer for over six months at this point. Um, and I know things uh, change rapidly uh, in this field. Uh, what you might want to consider doing instead of dropping that $50 right now is saving up a, a little bit more money uh, and consider how 3D printer technology continues to evolve over the next few months. Um, I imagine soon 3D printers will be like plasma TVs were a few years ago. Uh, super expensive at first, only a few companies releasing them and then as they gain popularity um, the, you know, the prices are going down. I've already seen a few reviews for two and three hundred dollar 3D printers, um, and that's amazing. Um, and I'm going to hold off a little bit longer. I've got enough of a bag uh, backlog to um, to get me through to my birthday in August, and I'm going to I'm going to reevaluate then. There are lots of YouTubers and Instagram people who. Uh, their specialty is in 3D printing. I'd encourage you to check them out and look at reviews if that's something you're really interested in. Um, none of these videos are sponsored. Uh, I don't take any money from these companies in any way. I just thought uh, you might be interested in something other than some painting or hobby tutorials uh, and try out a little something different. My plan moving forward is to post a new video at least every Sunday. So tell me in the comments what you'd like to see reviewed in the future. Is there any particular projects or games that are coming out that you think are interesting or you've heard of good things about? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found value in this video, please like, consider subscribing so you don't miss anything. Remember, there's always room for one more soul in the seventh circle.